What do you do? When life gives you lemons, what do you do, Bob? Make lemonade. We make lemonade. No, lemoncello. make lemoncello, baby. Rock and roll over here. We got Bobby over here, the resident lemoncello expert. He's going to give us a little lesson on the lemons over here. Where's the lemon, he, Bob? Here. Show him how to rock the house down. We're going to peel a lemon over here. Hold on, let me grab a drink. All right, go ahead. What do you got, Bob? What are we trying to do here? You get it like that. See? You peel it. There's little of the white on it as possible. Oh, there's no white on the back side of it. Yep, see? That one, we that want one to come, come out good. We're going to peel them all like that, put them in a container. And now we've got our jug over here. We're going to into our container. We're going to fill it up, the jar. It's going to come up to about halfway, 750 milliliters, seven bottles. Okay, we're going to let that fester for how long, Bob? About two, three weeks? Two weeks at least. Two weeks minimum until all the chips are dry. Right? And then uh, we're going to strain it and we're going to mix our uh, simple syrup. Got nice fresh lemons. These are first day, these are kind of small ones, but they're first day issue. They're right off the boat from California. All right? We got a little home brew over here. But what you're going to use, you're going to use your regular grain alcohol. Seven bottles for this mixture here. And then uh, in a few weeks, we'll uh, be back with the simple syrup. We'll show you the uh, ratio. And that's what you're going to... This is what you're going to have left over. We're going to squeeze these and uh, save the lemonade. Yeah. Bob, freeze the lemonade for other recipes and stuff. All right, so is that, that's how we bang the house down right there. Crack yourself a cold one. What else, cousin? Anything? All right, let's rock and roll, baby. Fire it up! Fire in the hole, baby! Lemon chill coming at you, baby! Bada bing! Come on, Bob. Bobby, we're gonna put our lemon peels in the bottom of the tank here. We're gonna put our seven jars in, and we're gonna let that sit for... Um, how many lemons are we using, Bob, per, uh, per bottle? Seven, about ten? Ten uh, lemons? Ten lemons per bottle. Ten lemons per bottle? All right, so that's going to be pretty strong, and pretty potent. Look at that, huh? And some people put uh, they put oranges and stuff in there too to mix it up. But we're just going to use lemons here, California lemons. Uh, obviously, the best ones are from uh, Italy. The giant uh, baseball ones here, but this is uh, this is small witchcraft over here. We're not uh, trying to break any records like Danny DeVito or anyone like that. So I can't see a thing. All right, give it a shot. Dump it in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Where the hell this this one's come from? California. Yeah, that's like Asian orange. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did this thing come from? Too much pesticide on that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I think this thing was drinking limoncello. For, <laughs> huh? I think they were they were watering it with grain alcohol. You're the only one laughing, Uncle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Someone's gonna laugh. Can I tell you? All right. Hey, what do you want? Better than nothing. All right. You know something? Why put them to waste? We're gonna peel it. We're gonna put it in the mix. Forget about it. Come on. It's like who got my picture on there? <laughs> okay, we got another pretty one. We're having a contest of where the ugliest uh, lemon is. That one there's got chicken pox. Let me see. What the hell? Why why let them feel left out? Bobby, peel him. Yeah, peel his ass. Go ahead. Get him in there. That's how we do it. That's what they do. Nice. Really? It's pretty, huh? Pretty stuff, isn't it? Bobby, what do you use when you strain the stuff? Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth? And you could use, like, uh, coffee uh, coffee filters yeah. if you wanted to. You can strain it as many times as you want. And get it nice and clear. That's after it's already... Chipped out and it's been sitting for you know a couple of weeks or whatever. It's like orange juice, a little pulp won't kill you. Yeah, right. But we want it nice and clear. We want a nice clear brew. I think I'm gonna use our coffee filters. Then uh, we'll make our simple syrup, let it cool, mix our batch, let it sit for another two weeks, and we'll be ready for next Christmas. It's good indefinitely, right? Yeah. Then you throw it in the freezer. You don't have to throw it in the freezer, though, Bob, right? I mean, you want no. You yeah, want it in the much better. Ice no, no. You got. You want to put it in the freezer to serve it. I mean, but if you're storing it, oh no, no. Just keep it in a cold, dark place. Keep it in a cold, dark place. Then, cool as you use it, you throw them in the freezer, right? Yeah. And uh, and that's it. Beautiful, nice. This is a fantastic brew Bobby's got over here. Bobby and Dave also uh, came up with this brew here, and uh, 
But, you know, some people make it a little stronger than others. Bobby, I think, has got it right down uh, to where we want it. We like it a little thick. You can always adjust it a little bit. Okay, Polly. Two weeks later, we've got some limoncello brewing over here. <laughs> Polly, hey. Polly, grab the limoncello. Look how nice and clear that is. Look how yellow that is. Okay, it's been over two weeks, almost three weeks. A little too long, but not a problem. We're gonna strain the limoncello. Actually, before that, we're gonna set up our uh, our uh, sugar water mixture here. There's all different recipes on that, but uh, we're taking Bobby's. Uh, Recipe and we're gonna just change it up a little bit. He does. All right, folks. We're here two weeks later We've got our limoncello over there soaking. We're gonna filter that in the meantime We're gonna get our simple syrup mixture mixed up here. Okay, we're gonna deviate from my friend Bobby's recipe a little bit We like his recipe. I just want to thin it out a little bit on the sugar and I'm gonna add a little less water so um, The way I figured it we're gonna be adding 2.2 cups of sugar per 750 milliliter bottle okay and we're going to be using four and a half cups of water per 750 milliliter bottle so that's what it's going to work out to be so multiply that times seven uh we're going to wind up with uh let's see um we're going to wind up with 16 cups of sugar okay so there's eight it's a lot of sugar but we've got a lot of uh Limoncello we're going here. This is a big batch. Okay, so we're gonna go eight and eight. We're gonna do 16 okay. Cups of sugar and we're gonna use two gallons of water, which is uh, Which is gonna be 32 cups of water Okay, and that'll be 4.5 cups per 750 milliliter. I'm gonna get this on the stove make our simple syrup and uh, we're gonna strain our Okay, there's another eight cups right there. There's a plenty of sugar in there, okay? If you got a sweet tooth, you're all set. There you go. We're just gonna add two gallons of water to that. We're gonna pop it on the stove, and uh, we don't really wanna boil it. We just wanna heat it and melt it and stir it for about 10 minutes. We'll show you how we do it. Let's add our water. All right, all that sugar has uh, dissolved and melted. Okay, now we gotta let that cool. It's only been on here not even 10 minutes. Okay, it's all dissolved. It looks like just like clear water, thick water. I do. No, Nick. All right, go ahead, Paul. Just uh, strain it, rough strain it into here, into the pot. And then we'll put it through the other filter, the coffee filter. Don't drop that. That's liquid gold, man. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, huh? Nice little container I get there, huh? For the limoncello batch. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Sweet. Look at that. It was made for that. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, folks, we're here the next morning. I've got half of my uh, simple syrup poured in there. I had to ladle it with my little pot here because it was too full. So I'm just going to pour the rest right down the hatch here. I'm actually filtering this again because I got a little filter built into my funnel there. Okay, so we're going to fill it right up to the top. It's turning really crazy yellow, color of yellow. Really nice stuff, fantastic. Look at that, oh man, that is crazy. Look at that stuff. Can you see that? Looks like one big lemon cloud in there. Looks like a lemon, a complete lemon cloud, okay? You gotta be on cloud nine when you start drinking this stuff. Okay folks, after we have our simple syrup all poured into our lemon infused alcohol, we wanna just give it a little stir. Make sure your spoon fits, okay? Make sure your spoon fits, okay? If it don't wanna fit that way, Give it a spin around and give it a whirl the other way, okay? Oh man, look at that. That is, how yellow that is. Turned unbelievable. Fantastic. Fantastic, folks. Okay, we're gonna let that set another week. Then we're gonna bottle, be rock and rolling, baby. Fantastic. Lemoncello, enjoy, folks. Homemade lemoncello, folks, enjoy.